Mesopotamia, meaning, land between the rivers, is an ancient region located in the eastern Mediterranean, bounded in the northeast by the Zagros Mountains and in the southeast by the Arabian Plateau. The region includes modern-day Iraq, Kuwait, parts of eastern Syria, southeastern Turkey, and southwestern Iran. It is considered the cradle of civilization and is recognized as the birthplace of writing, the wheel, and agriculture. The history of Mesopotamia can be divided into several periods. Prehistoric period. The prehistoric period of Mesopotamia refers to the time before the development of writing, which began around 3200 BC. This period is also known as the Neolithic period and covers the time from about 10,000 to 4000 BC. During this time, Mesopotamia was inhabited by several different cultures that developed farming and animal husbandry. The earliest known inhabitants of Mesopotamia were the Natufians, who lived in the region around 12,000 years ago. They were followed by the Hasuna and Samara cultures, who lived in the region between 6000 and 5500 BC. These cultures are known for their distinctive pottery styles and the development of agriculture and animal domestication. The Ubaid culture emerged in Mesopotamia around 5500 BC and lasted until around 4000 BC. This culture is named after the site of Tel al-Ubaid in southern Iraq, where the remains of a large settlement were found. The Ubaid people were skilled farmers who cultivated crops such as wheat, barley, and lentils. They also raised sheep, goats, and cattle. The Ubaid culture is notable for its sophisticated pottery and the development of irrigation systems, which allowed them to farm more efficiently. They also built impressive mud brick buildings, some of which were decorated with elaborate wall paintings. During this period, Mesopotamia was a crossroads of cultures and trade routes. The Ubaid people had contact with other cultures in the region, including the Elamites in modern-day Iran and the Harappans in the Indus Valley. This exchange of ideas and goods helped shape the development of Mesopotamian culture and set the stage for the emergence of the Sumerian civilization. Early Dynastic Period The early dynastic period of Mesopotamia occurred from around 2900 to 2334 BC, and it marks the emergence of city-states and the formation of the first dynasties. During this period, Mesopotamia was home to several powerful city-states, including Ur, Uruk, Lagash, and Kish. One of the most important developments of this period was the rise of the Sumerian civilization. The Sumerians were a people who lived in the southern part of Mesopotamia and are credited with developing the first system of writing, cuneiform. This system of writing allowed for the recording of administrative, legal, and religious activities and was used on clay tablets. The early dynastic period also saw the emergence of the first dynasties, including the Sumerian and Akkadian dynasties. The Sumerians developed a complex system of government and administration, with powerful rulers known as Ensi or Lugal. These rulers were responsible for maintaining law and order, organizing public works projects, and promoting economic development. During this period, Mesopotamia was a hub of trade and commerce, with goods such as textiles, metals, and timber being traded between different city-states. This trade helped to enrich the city-states and promote cultural exchange. The early dynastic period is also notable for its architecture and art. The Sumerians built impressive mud-brick temples and palaces, some of which were decorated with intricate mosaics and wall paintings. They also produced beautiful works of art, such as carved stone vessels, cylinder seals, and statues. Overall, the early dynastic period was a time of great innovation and development in Mesopotamia. It laid the foundation for the emergence of later empires, such as the Babylonian and Assyrian empires, and set the stage for the development of the region's rich cultural heritage. Old Babylonian Period The Old Babylonian period of Mesopotamia occurred from around 2000 to 1595 BC and was characterized by the rise of the Babylonian Empire. During this time, the city of Babylon became one of the most powerful cities in Mesopotamia, under the rule of Hammurabi, who is famous for his law code. Hammurabi was a king of Babylon who ruled from around 1792 to 1750 BC. He is best known for his law code, which is one of the earliest known sets of written laws. The code consists of 282 laws that cover a wide range of topics, including property rights, marriage and family law, and criminal law. The code also established a system of justice, with courts and judges responsible for enforcing the law. Under Hammurabi, Babylon became a center of trade and commerce, with goods such as textiles, metals, and grains being traded throughout the region. 
The Babylonians also developed a sophisticated system of irrigation, which allowed them to farm more efficiently and produce surplus food. The Old Babylonian period was also a time of great literary and artistic achievement. The Babylonians produced epic poems, such as the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is one of the earliest known works of literature. They also produced beautiful works of art, such as glazed bricks, cylinder seals, and bronze statuettes. The Old Babylonian period saw the emergence of powerful empires, including the Babylonian Empire, which controlled much of Mesopotamia and parts of Syria and Iran. The Babylonians established a centralized government, with a king at the head of the empire and a system of provinces and governors responsible for administering the empire. Overall, the Old Babylonian period was a time of great political, economic, and cultural development in Mesopotamia. The Babylonians established a powerful empire that lasted for several centuries and laid the foundation for the later empires of the region. Assyrian Period The Assyrian period of Mesopotamia occurred from around 911 to 609 BC and was characterized by the rise of the Assyrian Empire, which became one of the most powerful empires of the ancient world. During this time, the Assyrians were known for their military might and their brutal tactics of conquest. The Assyrians were a people who lived in the northern part of Mesopotamia and were originally subject to the Babylonian Empire. However, in the 9th century BC, they began to assert their independence and eventually established their own empire. Under the Assyrian Empire, the capital city was located in the city of Ashur, but later moved to Nineveh. The Assyrians were known for their highly organized military, which included chariots, cavalry, and archers. They also developed siege warfare tactics and were known for their use of terror as a tool of warfare. The Assyrians were also known for their impressive architectural achievements. They built massive palaces and temples, some of which were decorated with elaborate relief sculptures. They also developed a system of canals and aqueducts, which allowed them to irrigate their fields and produce surplus food. The Assyrians were also great patrons of art and literature. They produced impressive works of art, such as bronze statues and carved ivory reliefs, and developed a highly sophisticated system of writing, known as cuneiform. Despite their military might and cultural achievements, the Assyrians were eventually defeated by the Babylonians and other neighboring powers. However, their legacy lived on, and their empire paved the way for later empires in the region, such as the Persian Empire. Neo-Babylonian Period the Neo-Babylonian period of Mesopotamia occurred from around 626 to 539 BC and was characterized by the rise of the Babylonian Empire under the rule of King Nebuchadnezzar II. This period is also known as the Chaldean period, as the Chaldeans were a people who played a significant role in the Babylonian Empire. Under Nebuchadnezzar II, Babylon became one of the most magnificent cities of the ancient world, with impressive public works, such as the construction of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Nebuchadnezzar II also rebuilt the city's defenses and constructed a massive palace complex known as the Nebuchadnezzar Palace. The Babylonians of the Neo-Babylonian period were also known for their cultural achievements. They produced impressive works of art, such as glazed bricks and cylinder seals, and developed a system of writing, known as cuneiform, that was used to record everything from legal and administrative documents to literature and religious texts. One of the most significant events of the Neo-Babylonian period was the Babylonian exile of the Jewish people. In 586 BC, Nebuchadnezzar II captured Jerusalem and destroyed the temple, leading to the forced exile of many Jews to Babylon. This event had a profound impact on Jewish history and culture and is commemorated to this day. The Neo-Babylonian Empire eventually fell to the Persians in 539 BC, under the rule of Cyrus the Great. However, Babylon continued to be an important city under Persian rule, and it remained a center of culture and learning for centuries to come. Overall, the Neo-Babylonian period was a time of great cultural and architectural achievements in Mesopotamia. The Babylonians established a magnificent empire that left a lasting impact on the region and paved the way for the emergence of later empires in the Near East. Mesopotamia's rich history has left behind a legacy that continues to influence modern-day society. The Mesopotamians' innovations in agriculture, writing, and architecture helped shape the course of human history, and their legacy lives on in modern-day Iraq and throughout the world.